and I own Nice Twice Doll Shop. Dolls are a history. It's a personal history. It's a history of fashion, fabric, design, what war was on, what products are available. Dolls are just a total history. The companies are no longer. The German doll factories, many of the French doll factories, are no longer and they're never going to be made again. So it's all history. There are no, as far as I know, there are no manufacturers of dolls in the United States anymore. Uh, they're coming from China, India, Mexico. So it's women in business, it's the history of dolls, it's the material, everything. It's a fascinating piece of our history. The store has been here since 1984 in this particular spot and it was started by a woman named Ruby Sargent and she, when she worked where she was before which was over by the San Jose flea market she noticed that the minute she got dolls in they were sold so she decided to open a doll shop and she owned it from 1984 to October of 1999 and I bought it then and she is still alive and she is still my friend. This particular store was actually a an interior decorator and what Ruby did was she rented at the end of this building as a, time, as a small spot and she rented that for an extremely short period of time because she just knew this building was going to come up for rent. And it did. And so she opened, she moved from the very back of the building to the front. And uh, she had, it's called Nice Twice, because at that time there weren't as many artist dolls. So the dolls that she bought were pre-owned by other people. And she bought dolls that were in good condition to excellent condition and got quite a following. There are many doll collectors and they look for the doll shops. It's a destination shop. Uh, Barbie, antiques, it will always, they will always be collectible. And the only reason to buy a doll isn't for the monetary value. Buy what you like, enjoy what you have, it's up in value, it's gravy. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You're still holding on to something that you enjoy. Ruby dealt with them changing uh, East Campbell Avenue to one-way streets and then changing back to two-way streets and then back to one-way streets and back to two-way streets. So she, you know, it was a down-and-out town. But um, it wasn't as popular it is, as it is now. And I've been around here since 1984. Uh, so I remember when the stationery store was here, and I remember uh, the shoe store and the vacuum cleaner store. Uh, Charles Pignatero is my landlord, and he had the shoe repair shop, which is where the new restaurant next door was. And he was a renowned. Uh, shoe repair person and so he owns this building he still owns this building and it's um, a little faster paced than it used to be it's more family orientated uh, which is good uh, lots of people walking their pets lots of people walking with children